Come on. Let's go to flush emoji. Snap that 10 out. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Today we have Brandon reviewing the brand new Conspiracy Scheme. So today we're reviewing it against the Conspiracy, which is one of Brandon's favorite balls and the best selling Radical ball of all time. It's pretty much a no brainer that Radical would want to continue its legacy with the brand new ball here. So both balls here have the same Conspiracy core, but the new one here has the Motion Magic Solid Cover Stock. Try saying that five times fast. So not knowing too much about the brand new cover stock, we think that the new Conspiracy here might be a little bit longer and have a little bit more shape off the back end just because it's a little bit shinier out of box. Today we have Brandon bowling on 40 foot Abbey Road. It's a challenge pattern and he's going to be playing around a little bit with his ball speed. We're going to try to throw rockets to the pockets and try to slow it down a little bit so you can get a good feel of how ball speed can affect hook and motion. Huge shout out to all of our members. We really appreciate all of your support and getting to meet you all. So if you want some exclusive perks, which includes early access to videos, coaching, and even some merch, click the join button down below. I'm done talking. Let's see how this new ball rolls. Brandon, out on the lanes. Brando's back, new conspiracy scheme. Super excited for this ball. The original Conspiracy is my favorite heavy oil ball of all time. In my opinion, it, it hooks the most, it's got the best back end motion, and it handles oil better than any ball I've ever thrown. So I'm really excited to throw this ball. We got a bit of a different cover and a different surface prep. This ball's not quite as dull as the original, but let's see what it does out on the lanes. We're here on Abbey Road. I just finished filming the Brunswick six different price point video. So these lanes are a little beat up, but not too bad. This would be kind of similar to what game two or three of League would look like. We're hooking it today. I think that's what these lanes are gonna want. All right, missed a little bit left, still struck. That ball's a little bit rollier than I expected. I just finished throwing the Brunswick Defender in another video. Defender hit the corner a lot more in this conspiracy scheme. It's a very similar layout. Let's try it again. That's only shot one of many. Same alignment, let's throw a better shot. Again, I need to throw better shots. But we're not cutting much today, are we? I know we don't cut shots because I had a gutter in my Eruption Pearl video. I missed right, that wasn't a good shot. Move my feet a little bit right. I thought this ball would cover a few more boards than it actually does. I'm thinking I was too far left because the surface prep on the previous ball I reviewed was a lot duller. This ball comes out at like 4,000 or compound or something like that. It's gonna be a lot cleaner. Yeah, that's just a really smooth ball. I'm kind of surprised because the original Conspiracy was an absolute hook monster. Let's throw a couple more strikes before I throw the black. Snap that 10 out. Ball's still a little bit rolly, not quite the right look. I'll make a little adjustment, we'll find it. Solid nine. Where's that emoji? Solid nine. Let's get a flush emoji, then we'll try the OG. Oh, found some hook. Moving back to the left, Just gonna hit it harder. I wanted the flush emoji, that was close though. One more shot. I'm really finding that this conspiracy scheme is rolly. That ball just wants to tumble a little bit more, which is kind of interesting. I don't remember the original doing that. But actually, this is probably not a bad matchup for my game with having a bit more of a spinny release lower track. Oh, do we have a messenger emoji? Come on, we need to get one. About two games on it since the last resurface, this Conspiracy Solid has been waiting in my garage for a long time to get back out in the lanes. I love this ball. It's got so many games, but it still hooks. Same alignment. Let's see if this ball hooks as much as the scheme. I 
I really like that. The original Conspiracy Solid had a little more length, a little more back end. I'm falling in love all over again. That looks so sweet. Let's move a little left. Okay, that's too much. Question time. In previous videos I was talking about what things you want to work on in your game. You know, but sometimes you got to give yourself credit. Let us know in the comments below, what do you do well? For me, it's adjust my ball speed and move my feet. It's all about feel for the game for me. Let's try the scheme from in there. Technique time. I'm going to soften my ball speed a little bit with here with the conspiracy scheme. I wanted to make the corner a little bit better from where 710 from that original black conspiracy. Softening my speed, look at the ball roll sooner, but also break sharper down the lane. I want some more angle. Let's see what we can do here. Same alignment, just back off on the ball speed, just a pinch. And that shaped really well. That softer speed was perfect. As I'm bowling, I like to make diagonal moves. What happens is as I move left, I need to soften my speed to make sure that the ball makes the corner and is sharp enough through the pins to not leave that flat 710 again. So when I move left, I gotta move forward in the approach to help me soften up. Helps me with my feet, my timing, it's, it's just how I do things. When I like to soften my speed, I want to move my feet up in the approach. I still walk at about the same speed, but because I'm covering less territory, I'm actually moving slower towards the foul line. This helps me keep soft. Standing about the middle of the dots, or the middle of the front dots. Start with the ball a little bit lower too, just to sort of help myself out. And I really try to focus on getting the ball into the lane early. That was close. I'll take the ring 10, way better than that flat 710. One more shot. Almost 10 boards left of where I started this video. So it's all ball speed that's really making the difference. I'm not giving it that much more with my hand to create revolutions. So this is all ball speed. Kicks out the 10, perfect speed, and the ball was setting up in the right spot. I got a great mix of the pins. Let's throw it firm. So I wanna throw the ball hard. I move back in the approach. That way I'm covering more territory while walking at what feels like the same pace, but I have more velocity because I'm covering more territory in the same amount of time. Let's see how those physics work out. This is 20 boards right from where I was last. Nice mix there. Yeah, really using my ball speed to keep the ball in line. I'm trying to be firm, not giving it a chance to hook away and do anything crazy. One of the biggest changes you'll see is that my backswing is a lot higher when I'm trying to throw the ball hard. Gravity is pulling the ball down. That's really going to help me create speed and project the ball down the lane. So that big long swing, long steps, just reach out to your target. Big follow through when you're, when you're firm. Come on. I also find that when I'm firm with my speed, the ball doesn't have so much time to hook. So it's not going to create that sharp angle. When the ball's slow, it has time to turn over, cover boards. When I'm firm, it's just getting down there in a hurry. I'm going to move a board right here. I'm close. This is actually not a bad look out here. I'm surprised. It's good angle into the pins and way flatter. As somebody who's not very good at adjusting my hand positions, I use speed a lot to control my angles. So the high hard one down the outside or, or soften up and be slow inside, like it creates a way different shape. I wish I was like Bill Monty in that shark pattern on the show we watched last week. Like that's a prime example of what changing your ball speed will do to your angles. While we wait for the lanes, big shout out to Lucky Nine Lanes for letting us film after hours. Let us use the lane machine to dress whatever patterns we want. We always have fresh oil to give the most realistic experience for you guys. Just yeah, thank you to them for giving us the opportunity. This is as hard as I can throw it. Five more right. Close enough, back to the shop. Let's talk about these balls and ball speed. Back from the lanes, Bull and Abbey Road, comparing the Conspiracy Black, the original, my favorite heavy oil ball, to the brand new Conspiracy Scheme. Same core, but a little different covers and a little different cover prep. So I had a bit of a different reaction out of both balls. I actually found that the original Conspiracy hit the corner better despite being a ball that's had a few games on it. 
It got a little further down the lane and had a little bit more move on the back end. But I found that the conspiracy scheme was just a little more rolly and smooth, not just having a stronger cover. I think sanding this ball just a little bit more would have gave it some more hook. Let it dig in on a heavier oil pattern if I was bowling on something like that. It's probably an adjustment I would make in the future for a term to play. As far as comparison and ball reaction, they really weren't that different. I was able to stand in a very similar spot, get the ball out to a similar area, and like it was just minor tweaks and adjustments between the two balls. I found that softening my speed and giving the conspiracy scheme a little more time to hook was actually the better play. I could get a little further into the oil, and that's just the way the lanes wanted me to attack them tonight. As far as where this ball fits in my bag, it's a little bit longer but rollier than my defender and my quantum evil solid. This is actually a ball I could ball down to from those balls or even straighten my angles out if I wanted to give it a little more speed. I found it very interesting that making those speed adjustments gave me totally different ball reactions. Throw it really as hard as I could and still have decent ball reaction and more tumbly shape or slow it down and hook it and wheel the lane if I wanted to with this ball. I did like the versatility out of it but I also appreciate how it wasn't just a total tank and kind of pigeonhole just for heavy oil. I was a little bit surprised and was kind of hoping that this ball would roll more like the original Conspiracy. I do have other shapes in my bag like the Ebonite Polaris that are a little bit closer to that, but I still like the way this ball rolled. I recommend the Conspiracy Scheme for shorter oil patterns. The rolly nature of that ball and just the quick rolling core, it had it come off the dry boards the right way when I wanted to keep my speed up and my angle straighter. That's something that's a little bit more unique for balls and I find that there's more options on the market now to get inside and try to create more hook down the lane. There's not as many options to go straight that way so I, I really appreciated seeing that. Conspiracy Scheme is a ball that's going to require some ball speed. With such a quick rolling core you're going to need some speed to get the ball down the lane. You're also going to need some oil in the front part of the lane too. So this is the ball you're going to want to use early on in the day. First game or second game of a tournament or league. I mean, it's probably not a ball you're going to finish out your session with either though. You're going to want to switch down to something shinier that's going to retain more energy and having a little bit of a sharper move on the back end for late in the day. As far as the speed adjustments, that's something that I think for a lot of people at home that it's something you really should be working on. Behind moving your feet for adjustments, adjusting your speed should be the number two, in my opinion anyway. For me, when I want to soften up, I want to move forward in the approach, start the ball a little bit lower and have a shorter swing. I want to think that I'm walking slower even though my foot cadence doesn't change that much but just that combination helps me stay softer with my speed and create a little bit more motion on the back end of the lane. When I want to throw the ball firmer I move back on the approach. I stand more near the first set of dots. I have a bit of a longer swing and I allow my backswing to get right up to the top and, and wait for my swing and come through. Having a nice big long follow through to really extend through will help prolong the hook. Keep the ball in line a little bit longer. It's just a very simple adjustment that's really effective and is going to be really helpful for you in adjusting to a lot of different situations on the lanes. Another thing to mention is that when you increase your ball speed you'll find that the ball doesn't have as much time to hook. Your angles will be flatter and straighter. Your ball won't be as angular into the pins and also when you're softer the ball will be more angular. It has that time to hook and it'll create more entry angle. As a general rule of thumb you find that your ball is hitting the pocket a little bit flat. Moving forward on the approach and softening your speed and getting a little further into the oil is often the right play. I guess and conversely, you find that your ball is a little bit too angular into the pins, hooking too much, just being a little bit uncontrollable on the back end. Moving back on the approach and getting a little further into the dry boards and flattening your angles out is often the right play to make. Simple rules of thumb, not always the right play, but definitely something to consider when you're on the lanes trying to make a decision and adapt to the lanes out there. In conclusion, I find the Conspiracy Scheme to be quite a versatile ball. Not as strong as I expected, but rolly, smooth, and very controllable. It's something I'm going to use on medium to heavy oil early in the day. It's something that people with ball speed are really going to like to see. Thank you for watching, and please comment below. Let us know what you're good at. Tell me about your strengths. What do you do well in bowling? Thanks again to all our members. If you want to join our community, please hit the join button down below. Stay tuned for the next vid. Don't forget to like and subscribe.